Okay. Hi everyone. So I'm back. Now I am going to discuss the integration by rational fraction. But first, we must define what is rational fraction. Pag sinabi natin rational fra uh, fraction, okay, you have the numerator and you have the denominator. Let's say you have the f of 1 with respect to x over the f of 2 with respect to x. Pag sinabi natin rational fraction, the degree of the numerator is always lower than the degree of the denominator. So, you will consider rational fraction kapag lower yung degree nung nasa taas comparing to the degree of nung nasa baba. So, let's go back to the integration by rational fraction. We will now have case A. You will have linear, which is non-repeated. Pag sinabi natin linear, the degree is 1. So, you must have first degree. Tapos, let's say the roots of the denominator, in this case, walang nauulit. Kaya nga sinabi na non-repeated, then linear siya. Meaning to say, uh, you must have x plus a, x plus b, and so on. So, in this topic, pasok ang factoring ng algebra. So, you must know how to do factoring. You will get the denominator, so that is x cubed plus 7x squared plus 12x. So you need to do factoring. So in that case, since common to x, pwede mo factor out to x. You will now have x squared plus 7x plus 12. Okay. Now this quadratic is also factorable. So pwede siya ng since you have x squared, you will do x and x. Now, you will do this last term. Kailangan yung factor niya. Then, kapag sinimplify mo to, will result into 7x. In that case, that is 4 by 3, which is 4 multiplied to 3, you will have 12. Then, 4x plus 3x is 7x. So, you will now have the factor of x cubed plus 7x squared plus 12x is x multiplied to x plus 4 and x plus 3. Okay? So in that case, you will now have 3x squared plus 8x minus 12. Then the denominator is x over x plus 4 and x plus 3. So the target is kailangan magtiwahiwala yung nasa denominator. So you will now have over x plus over x plus 4 and the last one is plus over x plus 3. So your target now is to find the value of the numerator. So you will uh, assign a letter, let's say that is A, B, and C. Now, the target is to find the value of A, B, and C. Now, simplifying this equation, you must multiply the whole by x, then x plus 4, and x plus 3. You will now have 3x squared plus 8x minus 12 equated to this one multiplied to this one, maka cancel to x, then you will now have a multiplied to x plus 4 and x plus 3. So this is x squared plus 7x plus 12. Then for the second term, you will now have b multiplied to this one, then this one maka cancel si x plus 4. Ang matitira is x multiplied to x plus 3. So that will be x squared plus 3x. Then for the last term, you will now have c. 
Ang mga cancel is x plus 3. Ang matitira is x multiplied to x plus 4. So that is x squared plus 4x. So the target is to find the value of a, b, and c. Now you will do by degree or simply getting the coefficient of each term by identifying the degree of that term. So the highest degree in the whole equation is second, tapos pababa. So second, first, then the constants. Okay. Getting the coefficient na merong term na second degree, dito sa side na to, you will have 3. Then dito, you will have ax squared. So the coefficient there is simply a. Dito naman, the coefficient here is b. Then the coefficient here is c. So that is your first Equation. Now, for the first degree, ang first degree dito ay si A. Then, pagdating dito, you will have 7AX. So, that's, that is 7A. In this case, you will now have plus 3B. Then, dito, you will have plus 4C. Then, for the last equation, for the constants, ang constant dito ay negative 12. Dito, you will have 12a. Pagdating dito sa b, wala tayong constant dito, so wala bilalagdag sa b. As well as, dun sa dulo, walang constant sa si c, so wala tayong bilalagdag kay c. So, the third equation is negative 12 equals to 12a. So, kapag sinote mo, you will get a is equal to negative 1. Using the value of a in these two equations, this will now result into 3 equals negative, negative 1 plus b plus c, which, which will be resulting into transposing negative 1 to the other side. You will have 4 equals b plus c. Okay? Next, applying negative 1 here, you will have a, then 7 multiplied to negative 1, that is negative 7 plus 3b plus 4c. Again, transposing negative 7 to the other side, that's 8 plus 7, so you will have 15 equals 3b plus 4c. Okay, now you have to eliminate either B or C. So let's say eliminate natin C, B. You will have to multiply this into negative 3. Then add the two equation. Okay, you will now have 4 multiplied to negative 3. That's negative 12 plus 15. So you will have 3 equals negative 3b plus 3b is 0. So, makakancel to. You will now have negative 3c plus 4c. So, that is only c. So, the value of c is 3. You have a. Sana lang. So, it's either you use the first equation or the second equation to solve for the value of b. Now, finding the value of b, let's say, ang ginamit mo ay ito. You will now have 4 equals B plus C. You will have 4. The value of your B is unknown. Then the value of your C is 3. So finding the value of B, you will have to transpose 3 to the other side. So that's 4 minus 3. So the value of your B is 1. So after finding the value of A, B, and C, you will now have to use this equation instead of having this equation. So your equation now is the integral of a over x, which is negative 1 over x 
then b over x plus 4, which is plus 1 over x plus 4. Then the next one is c over x plus 3, which is plus 3 over x plus 3. Now that is dx. Now, pwede mo na siyang integrate, which is, so first, you have u as x, your du is dx, so this will be negative du over u, and that is ln. Lalabas natin si negative, so that is negative ln of x. Now, second term, if your u is x plus 4, then your du is also dx. Then this one is dx over x plus 4. So you will now have du over u. So you will have ln of x plus 4. Because when you think it is a third term, if your u is x plus 3, then your du is the same as dx. You will have 3 dx over x plus 3. So, the 3 is constant, pwede natin ilagay. So, that will be plus 3. Then, you will have dx over x plus 3, which is d over u. And that is ln of u. That is ln of x plus 3. Okay? So, this will be plus c. Now, c3, pwede natin going exponent. So, this will be ln of x plus 3. Q. So you will now have L, negative ln of x plus ln of x plus 4 plus ln of x plus 3 q plus c. Since pare pare silang ln, then the first term, the negative 1, can also be a no. Exponent, pero pwede nang hindi. So, pwede nang gawing ln of x raised to negative 1 or pwede na din negative ln of x. So, in that case, kapag positive, nasa numerator, then kapag negative, nasa denominator. So, pwede natin gawin is for the final answer, simplifying the ln, you will now have 1 ln, tapos lahat ng positive nasa numerator. So, that is x plus 4. Then, x plus 3, q. Then, lahat ng negative nasa denominator, which is only 1, which is x. So, that's over x. So, this is the simplified version of the 3 ln. Then, plus c. So, this will be your final answer. Okay, another example, example number two, this is also under linear and non-repeated. We will have integral of dx over x squared plus 2x. So first, check if this is rational fraction. So the degree of your numerator is 1 and the degree of the denominator is 2. So the degree of the numerator is lower than the degree of the denominator. So this is considered as rational fraction. So first thing to do is to factor your denominator. You will now have x squared plus 2x. So the common dun sa terms ay x. So when you factor out si x, then you will have x plus 2. So instead of having a denominator of x squared plus 2x, your denominator now is x, then x plus 2. So you will now have 1 over x multiplied to x plus 2. Nilagyan ko ito ng 1 since wala naman tayo ng numerator. So represented by 1. So the target is pag nivalayin yung denominator. You will now have over x then over x plus 2. So you have two fractions. You will put a and b. Then simplify this equation, multiply it by x and x 
plus 2. Then multiply, you will have 1 equals, it all multiply, the term of answer is x, so you will now have a, then x plus 2. Then the next term is b, multiply to this one, mga pansel sa x plus 2, matitira ay x. So you will do also by degree. So the highest degree in this equation is first degree. So first degree, yung highest. Tapos pababa, so ang kasunod ni first degree ay constant. Okay, bubuhayin natin yung equation. Sa side na to, we do not have any first degree. So you will have 0. Okay, next. Sa side na to, you have x that is first degree. Pag may multiply mo kay a, that's ax. So ang coefficient dyan is a. Then sa side na to, you will have x, then the coefficient is b. Okay? Next, for the constant, the constant in this side is 1. Tapos, the constant in this area is 2. Kaya lang, multiplying to a. So, you will have 2 a. Then, the constant at b is 0. So, wala tayo na dagdag. So, since, uh, solving this equation, you will now have the value of a as dividing this by 2 you will have a equals 1 half. Then, using the value of a in this, you will have <coughs> 0 equals 1 half plus b. Therefore, the value of your b, transposing this to the other side, you will have negative 1 half. So, you will have a and b. So instead of using this equation, we will now use this equation having a value of a and b. So ang equation natin ngayon ay integral of a, which is 1 half over x, plus negative 1 half over x plus 2. Then dx. So in that case, if we let u as x, the value of your du is dx. So you will now have 1 half dx over x. So si 1 half is constant. Pwede natin ilabas. Magkakaroon tayo ng dx over x, which is d over u. So that is ln of u. So you will now have 1 half of ln of x, which is ln of u. Then in this Term, if you let u as x plus 2, you will now have your du as also dx. Tapos, negative 1 half is constant. So, pwede natin ilabas. You will now have minus 1 half. Okay? Then, you will have dx over x plus 2. And that is d over u. So, you will have also ln of u. Kaya lang, ang u natin dito is x plus 2, then plus c. Then simplifying this, factoring out your 1 half, you will now have ln of x minus ln of x plus 2 plus c. So pag sasamahin natin yung dalawang ln, the positive is yung nasa numerator, then the negative yun yung nasa denominator. So you will have 1 half ln of Positive si ln of x, so siya yung nasa taas. Then negative si ln of x plus 2, so siya yung nasa baba. So that's over x plus 2. So that is the c. So this will be your final answer.